Hey, welcome back to James's Repair Shop. Today, uh, I'm going to start doing these uh, rear deck lid hinges for the convertible deck. They're uh, opposite the, uh, they mount opposite the uh, ones for the hard tops because they swing upward, they're a little heavier hinge. And I want to uh, have them in place to hold the rear deck in, deck lid on when I weld the quarter panel on. And that was a suggestion made by Nick, Vintage Thunderbird Repair, and I agree with them. Uh, I've done it with uh, my Ranch Arrow and my old F-150, or 100 rather, uh, mounted the tailgates with the hinges and everything to align the, the body gaps. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to get these apart, see what we can find for pins. It may be a, a hard quest, who knows, but they're uh, three and a half inches this way, so they should be a pretty much a standard door pin, There's only, and there are two brass bushings in them that I can see. I won't know until I get them all apart. All right, so let's get it on with it and uh, see what we have here. I got the, uh, I set one hinge aside and I have uh, this one, the broken one. I'm gonna try to get these pins out. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna uh, punch, just a flat face punch. It's a straight, straight punch, not tapered. I gotta find a heavier hammer right here. I'm gonna go with a big hammer. Not a ball peen hammer, like John would like to say. I'm going to give it a bit of heat, so let's do that first and see what happens. All right, got it warmed up a tiny bit. Now I have these holes that are already in this piece of this bench I have here, so I'm going to line it up the hole. Hopefully, this pops straight out. Probably got may have to hold that with something. I don't know. Maybe my hand. Trying to get it so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So sometimes my hand will get in the way. But here we go. It may need more heat. I don't this one shouldn't be too bad, but I think it was seized, that's why it broke. Not getting any movement there. Let's give her a little more heat. And actually, I'm going to grab some uh, liquid metanazine to put on it. All right, I got a little deep creep. I'll put that on. Let it suck itself down in there. Sometimes that's all it takes. Let that uh, simmer in. I'd like to have something to hold it with. I think I'm gonna see if I can grab something. It's tough because I don't really have a, a way to clamp it there. Let's see. Maybe I can jog it back and forth some. Looks like it's moving. Yep. There she is. That pins out. So that's what it looks like. That's the broken piece and the bushings on it. So now I have something I can measure. All right, so let me get the other pieces out. They'll be a little harder because they're, well, I'll heat them up good. I just need them for measurements. All right, so let me go ahead and get these out, and we'll see what happens. Well, there you go. I got all the parts out. Heated them up good. Popped them out. Went well. I have to remember how these go back together, but I do have the other one to work with. I think the brass... No, there weren't any brass bushings there. There's only the two bushings that I can see. One's still in the, in the, the small part of the pin, which I'll have to punch that out. And they're just a regular pin with a knurled end on it, holds it in right here, the knurling. 
Other than that, they look like a pretty standard pin. I'll measure them up. But let's get the other one out. <clears throat> See how that goes. There we go. I've got these parts all uh, taken apart. And I uh, wash them down with some uh, bar saw. Take the take any grease off before I put them in my blast cabinet because that's what I'm going about to do right now. Is throw them in the blast cabinet, clean them up. And I have a track. I tracked down a set of pins. I bought some local, but they aren't quite. They're Ford pins, but they're just a little tiny bit short. So I've ordered on Amazon. Uh, some pins for uh, mid 90s GM Corvette uh, Suburban all that kind of thing they're four, a little over four inches long they may be a shade too long but I can cut them off so they'll be here tomorrow so let me get this uh, these all cleaned up and see how they look and I'll get them primed and I have the bushings I can throw the bushings in the actual the new pins come with bushings and they're cheap like uh, 10 bucks a pin and they come with all the bushings now the only difference is I don't know if the bushings that come with the new kits are small enough to fit in this hole, but I do have bushings from the Ford pins that do. And I bought a couple of bushing kits and they have bushings that fit the pin and they fit in these holes. <clears throat> the only question I have around it is, and I'll find out when I get all the stuff, is if should it be tight in here. So should these be pressed right through? I don't see how they need to be when they're, when they're, uh, when they're knurled to go in, but we'll see. So another thing I was thinking about doing with these is actually, uh, I think they go this the other way. So when you put them together like this, this is how they go, I believe, uh, yeah, they do. Um, I was thinking that I might put drill these out. I'll find a spot that's not going to interfere, but I was thinking about putting a grease fitting in. So a fellow could grease them every now and then when the hood's up. So I'll have to see if there's clearance when it comes down under so it doesn't knock the fitting off every time. And if there is, I'll put a grease, I'll put a grease circ in there. Because I don't know why they didn't have a way to grease them anyway. Even if a fellow just had a hole and you used uh, one of the grease needles. Uh, maybe that's all I'll end up having to do is just drill a hole in and I can use the grease needle. And that would be fine. I know there wouldn't be a ball on it, but I mean, how much dirt would get in that if it's kept greased? Something to think about. So let me get these cleaned up, or not cleaned up. So let, let me get them in the blast cabinet and see how they look, and then we'll get some uh, primer on them. There we are. Coat of primer on them. They look pretty snazzy. That'll dry to a matte finish like primer does. And then I'll leave them in primer because these were painted uh, uh, body color, white. When they were mounted, they just sprayed over the whole thing. So that's what I'll do. All right, so that's that part. Now I want to get the pins, get them put in. Now they have them all primed up, and I just want to mention that if you're doing this, just take the thinnest zip cut you can get and go between there. It's just a lot simpler trying to drive that pin right out. One side was broken, and it wasn't aligning up properly to hit the other side. So I just cut one side. Uh, the pin was broke anyway, so it didn't matter. But I think if you're doing this work, this type of hinge, just take your thin zip cut and cut them off. As long as it'll fit in there nicely and not uh, cut out the, make them loose, you know, doesn't damage the, the hinge point. So anyway, um, I 
I looked around for hinges locally, hinge pins rather. I found some Ford ones, a couple of different GM ones, but I could never find two of the same. So I went online. Uh, first I went on Dorman, uh, and I found, had the measurements of the pin that I wanted. Now, uh, on Dorman site, you can browse the pins and you'll see all the correct measurements. So these pins here are just slightly longer than they need to be, but that's okay because I can cut that off. The other ones, the Ford ones, were only came to about there inside, which would have been fine. But uh, these ones are perfect. Ten bucks a piece, nine something on Amazon. Probably get them at Napa. I don't know any uh, part source like Canadian Tire around here. I don't know. They might be able to order them. I couldn't find anything like Canadian Tire really. My local one. So anyway, what I have is a Dorman 38400 model uh, pin hin, hinge pin kit. So what comes in that is the pin, two bushings, or four bushings rather, two of these heavier bushings which you won't use, and then there's these two other brass bushings, or centered metal bushings, I'm not sure what they are. And they actually fit nice and snug right in these holes. Just enough, you have to tap them in, so that's almost perfect. The pin itself fits in, it's got the serrated, uh, or knurled end on it, knurled uh, lip, so it drops in. So you can punch that through. We'll go through from this side. I can tell because this is how I, you can see where I was pounding on it a little bit. So I can tap that in, or, or put it on the bench press. I think tapping in would probably be just as fine. So what I'm going to do, I have a piece of brass, just a chunk of brass. So I'll set this Dorman part aside. So this is a, anybody who didn't see it, that's what it is. Th uh, 38400 part number. So I'm going to take, and I have a little piece of plastic here. Hope you can see this. So I'm just going to pound the tap these in. With, a, with my small ball peen hammer. She's down. You don't need to pound the snot out of it. They're both in there nicely. Now, orientation of the pin of the hinge. So when you're, these are sitting on the car, this is what goes to the back of the car. Because the car, you have it sitting like this, the car comes up, and this has to go out over the rear deck, rear frame of the car, trunk lid lip area. And then it has to sit like this. So this is how it's, oh, sorry, that's not the right way. This is how it sits in the car. So when you have them completely the opposite way, they kind of go like this. So when they're in the car, this is how they sit. Because the deck lid is very close, very, the, where it goes into the deck lid is really low on the deck lid. It's right at the very bottom of the deck lid. So this just reaches up over the, over the top. So I'll get this out of the way, get this put in so we can uh, work that in. A little awkward, just gonna give it a tap here. There, popped right in. There. Now if I can get this in nicely, and this is the side where the pin comes out of, so I'll put it in this way. No, oh, it's not lined up in there very well, right there. There, see where that goes. There she goes. Well, looks pretty good. I get the hole over here again. Now 
now I'm not going to set that down in right now because I may I want to I'm thinking about I want to get it on the car when it's like this I want to see if there's enough room sorry if you can hear it I want to see if there's enough room to put a, a grease fitting in so I'm not going to put those in all the way yet in case I have to take it apart again so it sits on the car like this and that's how it should look so I'm going to get the other one done and then we'll try it on the car make sure there's no obstructions and these hinges there doesn't seem to be a right or left it's the same hinge both sides both same part numbers as far as I can see all right so there's one hinge put together I think I will put that on the bench press to do it so I'm going to do with the other one and uh We'll fit them on the car and see what they look like. Okay, there's both both in, just uh, loose fit. This one's a little looser than the other one. That's okay. I was thinking about putting, uh, if there's room to keep this on here, I was thinking about putting a uh, one of those thread nuts on there. We'll see. Once it's pressed in, it shouldn't come out. All right, so let's get over to the car. I'll find the bolts. Now, I didn't recondition the bolts yet, but I'll go over to the car. And see how it looks. There's the trunk lid. I had to put that back on. I'll set it in place. And look out here. This is what we got this morning, or last overnight last night. Had the lawn tractor in here doing some work to it. You'll probably see a video on replacing bearings on the deck spindles. I lost a bearing on that the first time I mowed the lawn. Probably gone. Well, look at this. Nice stuff, eh? We thought we were clear of it. Nope, not yet. Was it April something? April 19th? Not sure what day it is. All right, so there's the old car. So I'm going to move the lawn tractor out of the way so I can work a little bit. I'll just push it back some, leave the door open. And I'll get the bolts. Okay, I got the bolts in. And I put the deck lid back on. And that makes it easier to get the hinges in the slot when you're when you're all alone. You couldn't do this with the bumper and everything on. Uh, but, uh, well, the bumper has to come off to get the hinge off. Anyway, so I'm going to pull the hood, the, the rear deck up, and put the bolts in it. And in case anybody's wondering what this is for, I believe I did mention it already in this video, that it's because I want to put this quarter panel back on, and I want to make sure that there's a body gap is correct. So I'm still going to have to uh, put a little spacer up there just to bring it up level. That's easy enough to do. But I want this to be nice and straight before I uh, put that, when I, when I put that quarter panel on, on this side. So I'm going to pull the, the deck lid up and get the other bolts in it and see how she goes. Now there she is. Uh, I have to go out to my storage shed and get these uh, plates. Uh, to fast the hinge uh, hinge plates to go on here So I'll get that done, but this is the idea of rebuilding the hinges and I believe there's going to be enough room To put a zerk fitting in there or even just like I said a hole and use the grease need needle Because that'll be facing down When the car is at rest when the hood when the when the deck is down And that means that no moisture will drip into it. So if I just put a hole in there and I can access it Looks like I can get at it here um, when the lid's open. So I think I'm going to do that. I'll drill a little hole in them. Not a very big hole, small, one eighth hole or so. Just enough to the, get a little shot of grease in it every now and then. But that's it. That's uh, how to rebuild these hinges. And uh, I hope that's helpful to someone that is doing these hinges. I mean, that those pins seem to be working just fine i don't think there's anything going to interfere with how they are stick if they stick out a little bit so i'm like i said i'm just going to leave them for now so i can pull them back out and take it apart anyway like i said hopefully hopefully someone found that helpful and uh i'll get this all done off camera it's no big deal it's just too snowy and yucky out there today to go looking for stuff but that's it, the old broom handle come in handy. <laughs> so, 
hopefully you enjoyed that little this little video on rebuilding the deck uh, rear deck hinges on these convertibles and what you need to do it with and I think that was pretty inexpensive now I have a good set of uh, hinges on the back all right take care everyone and we'll see you in the next one